Schizophrenia is first and foremost a brain disease with numerous abnormalities in structure, function, and neurochemistry. Schizophrenia and other psychotic disorders affect more than 1% of the world's population and cost society a tremendous amount of financial and medical resources. Patients with schizophrenia need treatment in the earlier stages. This will help prevent relapse because of the higher morbidity and mortality associated with the earlier phases. During the untreated phase and first year treatment period, 10 to 15 percent of first episode psychotic patients attempt suicide. People with schizophrenia have, on average, a shorter life than the rest of the population. Suicide is the main contributor early in the course of the illness, whereas cardiovascular disease is the main contributor later in the illness. Overall, the disorder is associated with an increased risk of mortality due to lifestyle and chronic illness associated with the disorder. Symptoms of schizophrenia usually begin to appear between ages of 16 and 30, with males developing symptoms at somewhat earlier ages than females. Approximately 50% of those diagnosed with schizophrenia also experience a substance use disorder. They use nicotine much more than individuals without mental illness. In addition, there is strong evidence that use of cannabis may induce or worsen psychotic symptoms, especially among high-risk youth. In regard to brain structure, the most common finding is an enlargement of the lateral ventricles, followed by a decreased volume of gray and white matter. The medial temporal structures have been noted to be smaller in size when compared to normal brains. When looking at brain function, the clinician notes a relative decrease in cerebral blood flow and metabolism in the frontal lobes. Studies of the most common neurochemical abnormalities in patients with schizophrenia have focused on the dopamine hypothesis, in which too much dopamine is causing the psychotic symptoms. When considering the viral hypotheses, Researchers suggest that retrovirus could insert itself in the genome and alter the patient's genetic code. This altered code could be passed down through generations. Some studies have reported that pregnant women exposed to the influenza virus during their second trimester are more likely to give birth to a child who is at increased risk for schizophrenia. Several family factors, including criticism, emotionally over-involved attitudes and behaviors, and negative affective style may precipitate the illness or aggravate its course. There are four different types of symptoms seen in schizophrenia and other psychotic illnesses. Positive, negative, cognitive, and mood. Positive symptoms involve a break from reality in the areas of perception, behavior, thought content, and thought processes. Hallucination, delusions, loose associations, and grossly disorganized behavior are examples. Negative symptoms include apathy, blunted effect, amotivation, poverty of speech and thought content, asociality, ambivalence, and poor hygiene, and so on. Cognitive symptoms include multifaceted impairments in many areas, including executive function, attention, perceptual and motor processing, vigilance, verbal learning, memory, verbal and spatial working memory, and semantic memory. And mood symptoms include depression, agitation, anxiety, insomnia, irritability, and mood lability. The following list is a list of all the psychotic disorders. If you would like more information on any of these disorders, just leave a comment and I'll put it together. Psychoeducation held in group formats tends to be experienced positively by clients with schizophrenia. Group formats have a greater impact on negative symptoms and social functioning than treatment as usual. Family engagement and support are critical in the treatment of schizophrenia, as it reduces relapse rate by 20%. As with other psychiatric diagnosis, the etiology of a psychotic illness may be related to a physical rather than a functional disorder. The following is a list of common diseases that may cause or exasperate psychosis. In addition to the medical diagnosis, many medications and other substances may cause or exasperate psychosis. The following is a list of these psychoactive substances. Make sure to follow or subscribe to catch the next video of medications for psychotic behaviors.